So temperature is a super important factor when you're installing asphalt shingles. Almost every manufacturer says 40 degrees and rising. Most of your northern regions, you almost shut down because the weather gets so cold and it becomes too difficult to shingle. Shingles should be pliable, so they should be able to move around. But just like anything else, the more rigid it is, the more likely it is to break or crack. And so we gotta make sure that we have the, a high enough temperature to avoid that during cold weather applications. This is a ridge cap shingle, which has to go over the ridge like so. So you have to bend this ridge shingle down like this. Right now, it's just above the right temperature to be able to do it without cracking. But if we were to do this and it was 30 degrees, let's say, it would just crack and you would get this down, this, down the center line. This is the seal strip on your shingle. So it seals down to the shingle below it or the starter strip if it's the first course. And it's heat activated. This will not seal, this will not melt into and grab onto the shingle below it unless it's about 40 degrees and rising for the manufacturer. So if you're roofing, which I see way too often, um, you, you see guys putting on roofs in the 30s and low 40s, it's five to, five to 10 degrees cooler than that in the shade. So on the north side, which is represented here, like this shingle is surge in the shade, this seal strip on the shingle is never gonna get activated. So over time, what's gonna happen is, let's say the temperatures are, you know, high 30s for the week, but it's Kansas and the winds are probably blowing up to 20 to 30 miles per hour and carrying dust and dirt. This seal strip is gonna get covered with a film of dirt. And just like if you get a film of dust on scotch tape, you take, put that piece of scotch tape down, it's not gonna adhere as well as it would if it were completely dry and clean. Another component of the roofing system is ice and water shield. Which Again, high 30s right now. This part's been in the shade. We're gonna peel off the film, put it on here. You can tell that it's not sticking to either the roof deck or the curve of this faux skylight on our demo board here. A lot of the roofing accessory parts and pieces like your ice and water shield, your caulking or sealant, and your paints, they have some temperature restrictions as well. So a lot of times we get frost on our roofs here uh, in the winter time, usually until the sun comes out about right now, it's about 10 a.m. and that has to burn off. And if we're going out to do tear off and the roof is basically an ice sheet, you know, that makes it a lot more difficult. So we wanna wait, we wanna keep our crews safe so that when they're doing tear off, they're doing it in a, in a safe manner so nobody gets hurt. Most winter days, the frost may not burn off till about 9 a.m and then the sun sets usually between 5 and 5.30 in our area. So you're really limiting your time to work. In the summertime, you know, we can work from 7 to 7. You know, that's a good 12 hours. Now we're 9 to 5, that's 8 hours, and that puts a little bit more of a time crunch on us. The last thing we want is for our customer to have issues down the road. And cold weather application can cause issues for the homeowner because you're like just trying to get the job done. I just want to get it off my plate or whatever. That's uh, solving a short-term problem, but creating a longer-term problem. And we're trying to avoid that when we schedule our roughs in the winter. 